Once the prototype is there, you again go for user testing. And then we found out thousand more new problems. You worked so hard, came out of the valley of death by climbing all those stairs, by having consultants, and finally you land up square. But then you said you did all those studies earlier with mock-up models, why it didn't work? But that's not a working prototype. So here you can see how you are always taken back after you do the user studies. It's so important in the early design phase. Okay. So here we did the testing. We found out all the problems. And now we need to launch our pilot. And the whole design now has to go back to the drawing board, go back to conception. Again, build three concepts and come back to the production. Because you're not lost much because you just made one prototype. How can this vein tracer be more easy to hold? How can it be smaller? Multiple thermal mock-ups, same process. We'll go out in the field, check out with caregivers, check out with nurses, check out in the hospitals. Which form will work? Which is convenient to hold? So we have to marry the you know designs. We you know we modified the PCB because now the design was ready. So the PCB had to be just reconfigured and then build the CAD models thanks to the support of this small industry in Bangalore. Then we have new techniques of painting, which makes the product strong. And then we came up with a very important aspect of what should be the battery life and what type of battery to use. We'll use a battery which is you know, long lasting, a battery which is available very openly and very easily and very low cost. So we use this battery. Maybe if you don't charge it, it works for around two to three days. And made this pilot production of 10 uh, vein tracers. And then we again went for testing. We still came up with some more problems. So whenever you do user testing, you will come up with problems. But now interestingly, we were digressing our whole focus. Our cause was to you know, design a vein tracer for blood bank so that people who come to donate blood don't get you know, scared and things like that. And now when you're doing our testing, we said, oh, this product is good. Now it can go to multiple places. And when that happens, you'll find out that there are requirements are different. The intensity requirement is different. You need more intensity when you do the uh, vein tracer for the anesthesia. So we said, no problem. With this product we have to mass produce. So let us, you know, let us do those changes. See, I'm not saying that we're always correct. We do. A, we made a lot of mistakes in this uh, process, and you need to identify our mistakes too and say, you know, what we should do and what we should not do. So we did all that. And then finally, you know, we uh, uh, went to various hospitals in Pune. Luckily, now we collaborated with a person who supplies chemicals to blood banks. Then when we went back to the PCB design, we changed the intensities, we looked at the locations, and then very interesting, infrared is what? Heat, right? So the, our first LEDs were actually, if you keep for more than 30 seconds, it would actually give a little pain. Rather removing pain, you are giving pain, <laughs> right? So we had to relook at the heat transfer in the PCB. So then we need to look at, uh, you know, transmittivity. Then we put up some filters in the middle. Then we had to have heat sinks. See how complex the product becomes once you go forward. The students said, simple, infrared, it can give you light. I throw infrared from the top, I can see the vein. And finally, we reach a stage, which is our, you know, third value of death. Where we finish the pilot and we now have to launch it. And we are stuck with numerous issues which need to be solved.